Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on online examination management system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE. You can choose any IDE of your choice and a swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am passing an object of exam class. This is a GUI form. So you can create one by going over here in the project package. Click on new, click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated. I have named it as exam. Okay, this is here. This is the dot Java file and this is the dot form file. Dot form file is for the UI and the dot Java file is for the code. Let's see our UI first. This panel is I have named this panel as main panel and I have provided margins in all four directions and uh, these are the two buttons J buttons over here I have named as uh, take exam and the status okay for providing the uh, functionality to this button right click over to the button and then click on create listener I have already created one so let's move to the listener this is my listener over here this is the uh, java file for the exam class exam these fields will be automatically created once you design this panel over here and uh, this is a this is an object of jframe class i have named as exam f this is my constructor over here and these are the lines of code that you will require so whenever you create an object of exam class this form appears on the screen okay so you need to provide your panel name which was main panel to this method set contain pane cause it requires the j panel name uh, to pop up this window and uh, set visible is set to true so that it is visible and for setting the location of the panel okay uh, it can appear if you don't uh, put this line okay set location relative to is set to null uh, because of this line the frame appears on the center of the screen otherwise it will appear on the top left corner okay uh, okay this is uh, for the panel design and uh, let's move to the uh, functionality of the button this is my listener for the take exam button so what I am doing here is uh, popping this uh, frame this was the frame okay I am disposing the frame and then calling a new object of candidate class and in status button this is the status button listener uh, I am doing the same thing and uh, creating an object of status class these two classes are also GUI form so you can similarly create one by going over to the package okay and then create the uh, forms so uh, let's check this candidate form first this is the dot java file for it and this is the dot form file for it so I have uh, named this panel as student panel okay and provided margins this is the text area these are the text fields these are two buttons named as submit and back and these are the j labels okay so you can provide the functionalities similarly by going to the create listener okay let's check the java file in similar way these fields will get created and then in the constructor okay i am creating another object of jframe class and uh, calling this these methods through this student f uh, object okay so in similar way you need to add these lines so uh, your form gets uh, available whenever this object uh, whenever the object of candidate class is made let's check the functionalities of submit button okay so what it will do that it will first check if the text fields are null or not the name age and email if they are null then pop up a message with the uh, which says please fill all fields to take test otherwise it will uh, uh, execute these set of codes uh, I am executing this query insert into exam this is my table name I am storing these four values over here okay and uh, so the four values are set but I am using prepare statement so question marks are the syntax for it so prepare the uh, made the connection through this connection object and pass your URL the username and the password okay then uh, execute your SQL through this prepared statement and uh, we are storing the date okay date over here 
so i am uh, just uh, creating another object of date okay this is the new object i have named it as date and i am using the formatting in this way the date month and year okay so uh, i am using uh, okay the names this name column the age column and email all are and the date too all are set to string uh, when I, I was creating the table into the database so i am using set string method the f uh, one is the index of the column so at first place name this text should be uh, uploaded okay into the database and in the second we are just uploading this age data okay whichever the user has uh, entered into these text fields we are extracting it and then uploading into data uh, database our database so i am uh, okay in the fourth column we are storing the date so i am using this formatted or format method and passing our date over here okay so it will get the today's date and uh, it will store it in this format in the fourth column then i am calling this method execute update popping a message press ok to continue and then disposing this current frame and uh, initializing a new uh, class object this test class object and from this class i am passing these two values in that into that class and catching exception if there is any okay this is the functionality for the back button i am disposing the frame and creating a new object of exam okay uh, we are we can also okay yes we are creating a new object of exam class okay uh, okay so let's check the test uh, test class okay over here we are passing this is the test class this is the dot java file and this is the dot form file for for the ui let's check the ui first uh, i have named this panel as test panel provided the margins in similar way these are the radio buttons okay so i have added these radio buttons from the op uh, okay from here from in this palette you can add radio buttons from here and to make this radio buttons work and to uh, have one only one selected okay so you need to add uh, the button group to this so these four are for the same particular question this so i am uh, keeping all the four radio buttons into a single button group so i have named this button group as answer one so for this radio button the group is same this two and this two okay in similar way these are uh, kept in the answer two button group and these are in answer three okay and i have uh, only named the correct answer uh, and i have only uh, put the name okay the field name to the correct option only so for this question this is the correct answer so field name is uh, i have set this field name but field names are not set for other okay so for this only this has the field name rest don't okay and this is a submit test button let's check the functionality okay this is the submit test button so what it will do that it will first uh, uh, run this query update exam set score okay this is the same table that i was uh, making changes to in there in the here okay insert into exam so that table consists of five columns in total the name age email date and the score okay i am inserting four values in here and then inserting the last value score from here update this and set score to this method and uh, we'll check the functionality in this uh, in just two minutes where name is this name and age is this okay we are accepting the details the name and age details in the constructor this is the constructor okay we are uh, saving the names this is the name to uh, this variable name and age okay i have created the name and age over here okay so 
uh, I hope you understood this code, this particular set of code, which uh, I have I have been doing this for uh, every form. Okay, to make this uh, particular form, this form visible, so that uh, on pressing this button, the add button. Okay, no, okay, over here, this submit button. I am initializing this object test class, so we want that this form should appear. So you understand why I am adding these lines. This okay. So I am setting it over here, building the connection and running this particular query through prepared statement and then uh, calling this method execute update, popping up a message exam submitted successfully, and then catching exception if there is any, then disposing the frame and initializing a new uh, object of exam class. This particular form will appear. Okay. Let's check our score method. This is the score. Uh, it's returning a string value. So if answer one is selected, okay. Uh, so I told you that I have only provided the field names to the correct answer only. So if answer one is selected, then add counter with two. Okay, add counter with two. Uh, and I am maintaining the counter over here. Okay. I have set this counter to zero initially. So if you, uh, if in this question you uh, put your answer this, okay, you choose this option. So two marks will be awarded, and I have also mentioned that in here, in the candidate form, this. Okay, the details are mentioned over here. So accordingly, you can add your own functionality. I am just adding two. Uh, you can also subtract one for negative marking if there is any. Okay. So for if answer two is selected, then plus two. If three is selected, then plus two. Similar way, all are calculated, and uh, the counter consists of the final answer, the total score of the candidate. Okay. Then I am storing the result in the string format and concatenating with this slash 10 and returning the uh, string answer so uh, okay this gets the string over here and uh, we are updating it okay and let's check the status form okay so in here if you press this status button this form should appear okay so this is the form it's a simple form so i have provided a few margins and named it as status panel provided a back button which uh, takes us to this form and uh, this is a j table and uh, do not forget to add the j table under j scroll pane let's check the java file okay in similar way i am uh, initializing a new object of jfm class uh, mentioning these lines in the constructor and then this is a method which i am calling this table data method uh, what it do what it will do that uh, it will extract the values from the table and insert it into into this table okay so this is the functionality for the back button this is the button listener for back button i am just disposing the frame and creating a new object of exam class this particular form will be popped up okay this is the table data method I am selecting all. I am running only this query and storing the result into result set and calling this method set model. And then this uh, build table model I have created on my own, but it is very similar to the method present in the dbutils class, which is dbutils dot result set to table model method and pass your result set to that. And it will work in the same way, catching exception if there is any and uh, popping up a message. Okay, so this is it. Let's uh, run the program. Okay, so we can check the status. Okay, this was the status. So one student has given the exam and scored six marks. Let's uh, take another exam. Okay, this form appears it is working so if 
have chosen this option this this okay so in all the five questions uh, i think uh, only this one is wrong okay i have made the mistake over here it should be this let's submit it okay the exam has been submitted let's check the status okay we are getting eight marks over here so one question was wrong and the date is same which uh, of today's date and the uh, details are also updated successfully so it is working i hope you understood the working of the code uh, thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas